Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks. Um, so I am just on my way actually to uh, to school to do our first ever uh, snooker program, and um, just thought I'd get on and, and have a chat with you guys and just tell you where things are going. So year 10 is like a whole new world, like a whole new world. And I have to say, I don't think, I don't think Bo can do it. Like I, I'm not usually like that. You know me, I'm like fight, fight, fight. But he has regressed so much since um, since he started going to school. I think the amount, the sheer amount of information that he is getting is, is cause, his language skills have gone down. He's having trouble getting a regular sentence out. He's, you know, I often talk about how when kids get sick or when they're learning a new skill, specifically when they're learning a new skill, that they, they can regress and, you know, we've spoken about regressions and how scary they can be because, oh my gosh, you know, we never know if they come from when they're really little, the first time that it happened, we're like, oh, my kid's gone and then, you know, when they finally come out of it, boom, they, they sort of push through. But I, I don't see him gonna be able to push through this because I think that what's happening is so much energy is going towards just coping every single day with such intense classes that when he gets home, and with so much homework, even with a reduced amount, so like, I. He's trying to explain, he's trying to explain to the teachers, uh, you know, if he's got a problem or why he's got a problem or, you know, that he doesn't understand or, you know, or worse, he's getting up in the middle of class and he's just leaving. And he's leaving because he feels that, um, you know, something is too emotionally distressing for him. And we've always taught him so that he could manage, so that we could manage his, um, his uh, meltdowns that, you know, instead of having a meltdown, just, you know, walk away from the trigger. And that doesn't work at school. Um, you can't do that at school. And so we're now trying to teach him to stay in class, um, which is, because it's all well and good, but he's, he's just, he's not, and he's having so much trouble explaining why he can't stay in class. So I, I just, I don't know, honestly, what to do in this situation. Um, I don't know if he's gonna make it, I really don't. I, I, yes, I've got him tutors. Um, obviously, he's lost his funding because when you go into high school, you lose your funding. Um, not high school, year seven, eight, nine, and 10, but he's, as soon as you start doing BCE, whether you're in 10 or not, and I wanted to spread them out, you lose your funding. So AIDS are not something that I'm getting uh, I, I'm, I don't know what to do. He can't explain the problems that he's having. He can't, um, he can't stay in class. He can't explain the problems to the teachers. He can't even explain the problems to me. And I speak fluent bow. So I'm, I'm super stressed. I don't know whether he's going to be able to do this or not. That's, that's ultimately what it comes down to. I really don't know if he's going to be able to do this or not. So I don't know, we'll see.